some incredible new video to show you this morning. This is from the island of Socotra. It's actually part of Yemen. Uh, it's an island that's just south of the mainland. But uh, this is cyclonic storm Chapala that was hitting it over the weekend. And you want to talk about some terrifying video of just the flooding. It's insane there because this is a desert climate. These are areas that don't see rain very often. Now take a look at the storm itself. And by the way, the video you were just seeing was from this island, which is right down here. I mentioned that's part of Yemen. Here's the mainland of Yemen. And it's not very often that they get hit by a storm like this. It's a small, compact storm, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Not only from the wind, which yes, will cause its fair share of damage, but the rain is going to be the worst part of this storm because I mentioned these are spots that don't see much rain uh, and we're expecting at least three to five inches of rain in some of the spots along coastal areas. That'll be at least in some areas about you know, three or four years of rain total uh, compared to the average numbers that they get. So this is going to be definitely a disaster. <laughs> Uh, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center track on Google Earth, and I want to go in here, and you see where the track, where the center comes in to the south of Al Mukaya, and this is one of these areas. I mean, look at this. Look at the population here. Just incredible. About 300,000 people. Brandon tells me. Brandon, how far was this from the center? So less than 60 miles. We know we got a 50 mile wide. This is going to be right here in that right eye wall as it's coming ashore and collapsing. Look at the topography here. So all this will be squeezed out, all that rain coming right down into this village here. Look at this canal right into that. That's probably going to flood. It's going to push all the water up and through here. So uh, th this is, you know, this is uncharted territory for us. And we know about all the unrest in Yemen right now. So we don't really know how many people are actually there, but you can certainly see how all this is flat right up against the water here. Not very, very high. And then, of course, these hills behind here are going to take all that rain, a thousand feet worth of hills, and then it's just going to wash right down. So this could be uh, devastating, 300,000 at least.